Ja, herzlich willkommen, liebe Ground and Pound Zuschauer. Diesmal sind wir in Bukarest, in der Nähe von Craiova, wo morgen Super Combat, die Final Elimination stattfinden wird. Neben mir der Präsident, Veranstalter Eduard Egemia. Eduard, nice to see you in Bukarest. Some days left till the, the big show. Yeah, let us know what's up with Bukarest. I think uh, many people and fighters will come here and then uh, we are switching over to Craiova. Also, you are welcome. You are the first time here with the, your uh, team and the, your professional people. Uh, we are also happy that we, with Super Combat, we can promote uh, uh, the beautiful country, Romania, because you know that uh, we, we are a main base here. And uh, as you know, Super Combat in the la latest year uh, it's got a good evolution and the uh, fight cards is increasing uh, uh, better and better fights. So also because of uh, the fame of the K1 brand before in Romania and uh, a lot of fighters we are using in Super Combat they'll be coming from K1 or where they, they are working in the next events in K1. We got a good uh, cooperation and uh, this time after the final, final 16 in Tokyo um, we got also the event in Arad, uh, another Super Combat event. But this time in uh, 10 November uh, we, are we, we try to put uh, maybe the best fighters active in uh, Europe at least in uh, Super Combat and uh, some of them they um, they are qualified even in the final of uh, final 18 K1. So speaking about the fight card, uh, we're gonna have uh, uh, nine fights. Uh, four of them uh, are the main events, like like common events all together because of the uh, interest as uh, the winners from the four elimination fights. They will go straight to the final on 22nd of December, where uh, the lucky winner is gonna be beside the the best fighter of Super Combat in 2012. He's gonna get also the special car offered by Mitsubishi Motors and uh, this time is a 4x4 uh, Jeep Mapajiro and um, also be beside these four elimination fights we, get, we, get, we, we have some super fights and uh, you know that in Romania Moroshano is a superstar and uh, also the best performance in his life in, uh, with Slovinski in Tokyo is coming now in the ring with a veteran with uh, Carter Williams but of course it's not a so easy fight for, uh, for him because you know that uh, Moroshano is, is all the time is putting everything in the ring so yeah. it's also risking a lot. He doesn't like easy fights either so... Yeah. On the other hand, uh, we we discover some new guys. What uh, we are trying to to give them a chance and to to see if they are able for the next events to compete in a, in a super combat. And uh, I can name uh, here uh, Thomas Hron, who is uh, also a uh, quite famous fighter in Europe, and he he was in the big, bigger uh, tournaments before. And uh, we give him a chance with uh, Dimitri Bezos, also from Ukraine. Uh, he's got a chance. So the winner is going to have uh, maybe a contract in the next events. On the other hand, uh, we discover uh, American fighter. Uh, huge, uh, two meter uh, and fifteen centimeters, almost like, almost like semi shield. A huge guy. Yeah, the guy has got a very nice story uh, around him, like uh, because I, I like like a promoter to promote uh, fighters with uh, what they have also some uh, reason to to have a story for the TV and media. We we are not promoting only kickboxing here. We are promoting uh, the story and the, for the mainstream uh, uh, coverage. Oh, yes. we, we need we need also people with a good story behind it. So uh, when speaking about Radu Spingel, is a Romanian guy who uh, what uh, he left. 17 years uh, ago with his family and now he's the heavyweight uh, super heavyweight champion in the uh, United States uh, also the number one WBC Thai boxing in the rankings and uh, this guy has got a nice story because he played uh, acting in some movie famous movie like uh, Pink Panther or uh, some movie with Steve Martin or Edward Norton so because of this story uh, he suddenly became a big interest in the television and uh, Ed Edward De Niro as well yeah so we, we gave him a chance with a veteran with Peter Vondracic from Czech, Czech Republic of course Peter Vondracic is uh, also famous here because he knocked out uh, two times uh, our star Cyprian Sora before. So uh, these are the fights for the, let's say, the entertainment side of the uh, television. But for the for the tough fights, we are, we are mentioning here uh, Ismail Lond against uh, uh, Daniel Sam. Uh, on one hand, Daniel Sam, uh, he got a good performance in the tournament with, uh, when Raul Katinashi won the tournament in uh, Cluj-Napoca. Uh, on, on the other side, Ismail Lond is the heavyweight champion in, uh, in uh, Super Combat and he's got the, the seat in uh, eight finalist uh, talk, uh, event. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's a very big opportunity for Daniel Sam if he win, he's got a good reputation also in the, for future. Uh, on the other hand, we got uh, Benjamin Adekbui. Also, he won uh, one super fight in Tokyo. He's, he's going to fight with the veteran Alexei Ignashov, the Red Scorpion. And, uh, it will be a great fight. I think many people the, expect in this. I think this is the fight between the generation. This is his idea. Right. We give him a chance to the new guy, but he doesn't have the same experience like uh, Ignashov. But in the same time, uh, Benny's got uh, more uh, adrenaline and uh, more uh, determination to become to become a. Uh, 
champion for future. And everybody is saying that maybe Benjamin in the next two three years is going to become a good good uh, fighter, even to compare with the biggest star in the world. Yeah, he's evolving a lot. He's a great fighter. Yeah. Alex Ignashov on the other end, you said it right, a legend, an older man, so to speak. But uh, I think it will be a hard fight. Yes, and uh, one of my favorite fights in the um, uh, Saturday night event is going to be Pavel Zhuravlyov against uh, Freddy Kemayo. On one hand, Freddy Kemayo is the winner of the K1 World Grand Prix 2010. Uh, Bucharest, I promote this event. It was a huge tournament. On the other hand, uh, we got uh, Pavel Zhuravlyov, uh, the winner of um, uh, Super Combat in 2011, one of the tournament. He was the finalist in the 2011, and also uh, this year he won a super fight in Tokyo. So uh, another guy who is is coming from uh, the latest big event. And uh, here also is a very very tough uh, fight, and uh, we can have a surprise uh, whatever on each side. Yeah, every time it can happen. Yeah. And yeah. The, the last, the last uh, elimination fight uh, we have uh, from the last uh, Super Combat events. It was a short notice, actually. The we got in the in October the uh, last event, and uh, we 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 got in this fight. Uh, Sebastian Chobanu, who got the last uh, wild card because he w he won against uh, Zevat Poturak. It was a very close fight, but uh, actually the the judges decided that he was the best. And even Poturak he commented in the, in the he was not happy after the decision. But I was sure that like President of Super Combat it was nothing wrong with the decision. It was only a close fight, and that's why we give him also a, a chance to fight in this event. I will explain why. And so we got uh, Sebastian Chobanu versus uh, Roman Kleber from Czech Republic, and Roman Kleber. He he won the actually the last tournament, mm -hmm. so uh, it's also a difficult fight. Uh, we ha we have like a rematch here because uh, uh, Chobanu he beat him uh, like three four years ago. That's right. And uh, not on the last uh, side of the uh, event. By, by the way, Chobanu said he wants uh, to finish him this time. Okay, so let's let's see. We are expect uh, anyway a good good uh, good uh, event with a lot of knockouts. I expect. And um, I I told you about Poturak. We gave him a chance. He he acted very good in the. I mean he was. Uh, like performance very good for me like promoter even he didn't win but he he proved that he's even now in uh, maybe the top 20 in the world so uh, we gave him a chance with uh, I choose like this is my secret actually before the matchmaking I like to involve in uh, in uh, choosing the best opponents for the specific type of the fighter for example Poturak I put him against uh, Ibrahim Arab he's a Moroccan fighter he got a good uh, performance last year with uh, Moroshanu uh, also young fighter so I said okay this is the opportunity for Arab to show against Poturak if he, if he was going to beat uh, Poturak, it's a good chance to be also under the control of Super Combat. So he got a lot of challenge inside, a lot of uh, fighters, even some new guys and uh, al also veterans from uh, uh, last five years in the K1 or Super Combat. Yeah, no easy fights, right? That's no how we love it. Fight. Yeah, uh, we got also a surprise for uh, the fans in some countries and I think even in Germany. Uh, we got the Stanley Bet Company who's gonna uh, put in the bettings. So already everybody can bet in Croatia, Romania, uh, Cyprus, and Germany. They can bet uh, on the Super Combat event. And uh, this is a good uh, sign because the uh, international company, betting company, they, they trust us like a product. So to promote this kind of uh, events under the betting in the international company is a good, good uh, feedback. Yeah, Super Combat's getting bigger and bigger as we see. Um, uh, talking about the car, um, the four fighters or the eight fighters that are fighting now, four will advance to the final in December and uh, the winner will get the car. Um, yeah, just talk us a little bit uh, through the car once again. Uh, the cameraman can show it again. Yeah, it is this true? And uh, we we got uh, last year also an another car. Uh, it was the Mitsubishi Rally Art uh, Special Edition, and uh, unfortunately last year we got some problem with the winner, is uh, Sergei Lashenko. Mm -hmm. What uh, he, he was tra he's training in uh, in uh, in Holland, and uh, after he won the tournament, he said that he doesn't want the car, he wants the money. So it was it was a funny situation, but at the end he was fixed. I, I I comment about this because I know a lot of fans. Maybe they they remember about the story, so maybe they will say uh, what is saying this guy uh, again about the car. Maybe. The another problem this year. So actually, our partner is the Mitsubishi Corporation and uh, is a serious partner. So uh, uh, we improve the quality of the price. This car is maybe double price than the, the last year. But of course, some some fighters maybe they're uh, they're taking like a PR of the car. Maybe after they want to sell it or they, they do what they want with the car. So actually, we decided this year uh, they will choose between the car and the price of the money.
Yeah, that's nice. Everyone as he likes. Um, by the way, uh, let's talk about Romania. Not only Bucharest, not only Craiova. What does it mean that Super Combat is in Romania? That uh, Romania gets a lot of exposure worldwide? Yeah, it's true. You know, uh, Romania, uh, before um, he got uh, a lot of um, good uh, image uh, around the world with different uh, athletes and different uh, uh, famous people in different personality. This time is, uh, is uh, very, very interesting that uh, Romania is proud because of the product Super Combat, because it's the main uh, we have the roots in Romania and uh, because of the high, high exposure of the product internationally even the politician and the everybody media they pay us a lot of attention and uh, Craiova is a big city in Romania this time uh, the mayor city uh, is launching the arena with our event so actually live on Eurosport we're gonna we're gonna announce that this is, this is the launching of the arena so it's, this is huge I mean for, for the for me in Romania uh, I cannot do more I cannot do more I, I maybe to put in the kindergarten uh, super combat uh, to be like a discipline so uh, uh, now we are with the, is the step to to prove it in the different countries and we already, we already start in uh, Bulgaria in Montenegro in Bosnia in the summer uh, Eastern European country slowly we, but uh, like expansion the exposure is in 75 countries four continents so also we have we have the American market uh, in discussion now to start from uh, uh, the next month uh, some live events so uh, of course so of there were the rumors with the American TV is there some new uh, some new yeah, stuff now the, 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 the thing is that we got a proposal we, are, we were very happy and uh, very uh, happy to sign the contract, but in this, the moment we were we, we supposed to sign the contract, we, we realized that also we need to think about the business uh, side because actually uh, the first deal it was a good exposure, but I am looking for mainstream. So for me, it's more important to uh, to keep the, the idea of the mainstream. I, I, I'm not interested about pay per view at this moment. I'm not uh, UFC. I'm not uh, I'm not trying to be like uh, like K1 was before or like other promotion that are trying to put, put a lot of money now. But we, we prefer to play under uh, this level of the medium. Uh, product uh, pre uh, to go to premium in a short, short, a short uh, time, but for future future uh, uh, perspective. So actually, uh, we are trying to develop the product exactly like I did. Uh, I did this uh, formula in Romania. Uh, it, of course, it's difficult. I, I, everybody is uh, it's uh, waiting for the results. But I'm sure that uh, if, if you do it the right uh, people and uh, with the right television and uh, like a challenge, uh, you know that last year I got the Frankfurt the Darmstadt. I got the final. Oh, okay. It was a small event like a location, like venue. But now we got a lot of proposal from Germany to, uh, to make even the big events there. Uh, we got uh, one of the most famous uh, promoters in the world in the events uh, uh, experience. He's the ex-producer uh, of uh, uh, Michael Jackson. He is also Romanian originally, so the, like, the guy living in, uh, in Germany, he told me that he's ready to, to help us uh, even in Germany in a huge arena for 20,000 people to support the huge PR and promotion to bring uh, one of our events. So this is, this is the goal, I mean, to, to go in the bigger arena, bigger city and uh, sooner or later uh, for sure for the fans and especially in Germany because, you know, for me it's very very simple uh, uh, challenge. Uh, you got a lot of boxing events in, in the world, in Germany, but for the, uh, this kind of events in uh, martial arts, I'm very surprised that nobody until now he didn't uh, explode this market and I want to be to challenge in uh, your uh, channel to say that I will come there so soon uh, Super Combat is going to be in Germany also. So watch out Grand and Pound TV Super Combat is coming also don't miss the Super Combat final elimination this Saturday we'll make some more interviews and uh, yeah, get ready to see some. Thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, later on, uh, only to keep the people uh, a little bit with adrenaline, we're going to be all together in the ringers casting for the Super Combat ringers, but they're making a, lo a lot of uh, ratings on Eurosport. <laughs> Make sure to see it. Bye bye.